Congresswoman, I want to start with you. The American Rescue Plan passed in March. The decision to give $1,000 in appreciation pay only decided by the town council last month. From your perch as a legislator, what is the impact of the decision to on a community that you represent? Well, I, I, I can't tell you how proud I am of Oxnard, their leadership and fortitude to, to do this. And I hope other cities will follow it. I think, you know, one of our uh, the biggest priorities in doing uh, this rescue plan is to give cities and local communities the flexibility and as many options um, as possible because, you know, what's good for one city might not be good for another, but what Oxnard has done uh, for these uh, grocery workers, uh, in their community is just the type of thing that I think Congress wanted local communities to do. Rachel, I want to understand what you think the impact is here. Also help us understand how this is going to work. Have essential workers received this pay yet, or is it going to come this summer? Yes. Um, so the, the money is going to come this summer. It's going to be distributed um, by the city of Oxnard. Um, this is going to make a massive impact. You know, grocery, drug retail workers, they have suffered through some of the heaviest impacts of COVID-19. Um, they uh, had hazard pay at the beginning of the uh, pandemic, and then it was pulled away about six weeks later. And throughout the year, we've seen high infection rates. Um, and a lot of grocery and drug retail workers are the, the sole uh, wage earners for their families. And so every day they came in um, when many of us got to work from home and struggled uh, to, to stay to stay well, to uh, deal with folks who were unmasked, um, to deal with lack of on-site testing. Um, and so this is a, a very important way to show uh, the, the courage and the bravery and the strength that they have endured throughout the year. Here's what one CVS worker, Debbie, who made public comments at the hearing held by the city council, said in reaction to the appreciation pay. As a CVS worker for over 40 years, I've been proud to serve Oxnard families every day, but nothing prepared me for working on the front lines of this pandemic. I asked Oxnard City Council leaders to recognize the incredible health risks essential workers like me have faced. This COVID premium pay isn't just about helping Oxnard essential workers provide for their family. It also sends a clear message that our community values us and the work we do every day to keep our customers safe. Congresswoman, every Republican in Congress voted against the relief bill, though it did not stop many of them for taking credit for some of its successes. How do Democrats make the connection for voters between between the relief funds and the economic recovery, and which party helped and which party didn't? Well, as you said, for the rescue plan, the Republicans didn't support the plan, although it was, I believe, a bipartisan plan. Perhaps the Republicans in Washington, D.C. and Congress didn't vote for it, but this is a highly popular popular plan across the country. Um, and I think what Oxnard is doing is exactly what our intention was to do not it's not every city it's not one size fits all um every city has their different priorities and so again i you know oxnard is a unique city and that it's coastal um but still a working class uh city and so not only are the grocery store workers and the larger supermarkets will benefit from this but there are many mom and pop grocery stores in oxnard too that will also benefit Rachel, this is, of course, a retroactive acknowledgement of the way in which these workers sacrificed, put their lives, their families' lives on the line in order to serve the public during this pandemic. What are the forward-looking questions we need to be asking about the type of compensation and benefits that these workers deserve? Absolutely. You know, many of these workers are low-wage workers, barely making above minimum wage. And throughout COVID-19, we realized that we had to both raise the standard on health and safety. We had to raise the wages for grocery and drug retail workers. And we had to prepare for the fact that if and when this happens in the future, how are we going to be on the front of it? Um, how are we going to create the health and safety measures to protect workers? How are we going to raise standards? How are we going to create affordable family health care for all workers? And, and how are we going to provide um, just child care? You know, these were workers who didn't get to stay home. And so single moms who um, had to endure the hardest parts of the pandemic simultaneously maintaining their families, simultaneously making sure that their kids were getting the education through 
this uh, this process. So we learned a lot, and I think you know we we can take that with us on on this next phase. You know, Congresswoman, to that point about child care and how this has brought child care into focus, you were on the Transportation and Infrastructure Committee. When you have people who say, we don't need the rest of the Biden agenda, we did it, we've gone enough, the economy is recovering, what is your response? My response is we need, we need a lot uh, to recover. And child care is one of those things that is extraordinarily important. Uh, you know, we're, kids are going to be going back to school. Uh, we need child care. We need people back uh, in their jobs. Um, I, I would like to say with a good, good paying jobs, um, but they need child care. And women, particularly women, have been extraordinarily impacted uh, by, by this pandemic because it's women who are taking care of people and uh, in senior citizen areas and hospitals and the like. Uh, it's the women who had to leave to come home and take care of their children. Having women back in the workforce, making a good good salary, having childcare to support that is going to mean a good, healthy recovery.